Greetings and salutations everyone and good morning. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. Today is Sunday and it is so beautiful outside. I just wanted to show you guys how gorgeous it is today. Yesterday it was really cold and really overcast, which I think contributed to my getting sick. But look how pretty it is outside today. I'm so excited. Today's going to be an awesome day. I'm actually going to water my plants. Let me show you guys a quick update on this guy because I think a couple of you guys have asked me about it. Doing so well. Now, these leaves, like they haven't browned any more than they have since when I got this plant because I got it in the mail. I want it on eBay. So even this one, like I think I'm just gonna cut it all off just because it's just like expending energy, keeping it alive. But I mean, like it's just been like, we've had this for a couple months already and yeah, this is the new leaf that came out. So this one is like in beautiful condition. Um, it hasn't sprouted any new leaves yet, but these, um, what are these called? Like the uh, aerial roots, they are just like growing really long from right here. And all of them are actually growing a little bit, um, all the aerial roots and stuff. But these have just been growing. These actually, you can just cut them off, um, but I, I've just been letting them grow. Um, I'm going to probably try and stick them into the soil or something, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, so this leaf has been doing beautifully. It looks stunning. The other leaves are doing all right as well but that's to be expected with a plant that you like ordered and had shipped so but right now i'm just gonna water my plants today is a watering day and a couple of you like you guys have asked like how i water my plants honestly i just water them i just like feel the soil And then if it feels, they feel dry, then I usually water them like this feels pretty dry. Um, and all of my plants have like lots of drainage, so then you can water them more often than the ones that don't. And all of these have drainage, so I have to water them pretty often because the water does like come out the bottom. So just have to, I don't know, like I can't really explain how I water them. I kind of just like wing it and water them when I feel like they're getting dry. Um, this guy is like looking really cool. I love the, the these leaves are so gorgeous. Um, I might actually move this guy from this window because I think it might be getting too much sun. But yeah, and this guy just had, see these are two new leaves. There's another one I think about to come out. So these are doing really well also. Now these I'm like most obsessed with. I love orchids so much, just like mom. Um, these the flowers on these guys last for so long which is why i love buying them um they last for about two to three months so you just have to make sure that when you get them a lot of them are still kind of closed like that so then when they open they're like nice and super fresh uh and the last ones that we had lasted for three months and then you just cut off the stems and then they grow back like later on so you can also like keep like growing them um so yeah that's why we love them so much. And they only cost as much as a bouquet of roses, um, $19, I think, at Costco for one of these. And I just have two of them in there, and they fit perfectly inside this little thing. So, like, it just looks really, really cute. I have ever shown you guys, like, this bar cart, like, close up. Like, everything on here in this cart has been thrifted, with the exception of these two, these set of four glasses that were gifted to mom. And then I bought that bird when I worked that pottery barn. But everything else, like, I know, like, I had my macaroons which I just opened because I ate some I had them like all wrapped up in plastic but I messed it up when I tried to open it that little thing was down there I just want to like restyle this I think but and I also really want to get maybe like a mirror or artwork right there I think would be really pretty on that wall because I feel like it's definitely missing some sort of a vertical element but let's look outside I wonder how cold it is today let's see Oh, it's a nice and brisk out. Check out the pool. I always check the pool every morning to make sure there aren't any critters in it. So I can fish them out because you don't want them to sit in there. And with the backyard, like when the back, your backyard is all like grass and hills. 
lots of critters get in here, so. I moved, I did a little thing right there with the oil macaroons and I'm almost trying to take pictures of it. <laughs> yes, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, I moved the macaroons over here so I can get all the colors. I just wanted to take a picture for Instagram. I think it looks pretty fun. A little overkill with the flowers, but that's okay, you can never have too many. Eliza's outside, and he's biking with his, what is that? Danimals? Danimals. Yeah. Oh, I like your shirt. Open, please. Mom made the most delicious banana nut muffins, as you can see. We've already partaken, but they're so good. You guys remember she made these before and then she put like these little oats on it from Costco. They're so good and crunchy. Alright you guys, we're off to dinner going with mom and dad and John and I'm super excited we're gonna go eat pho. Alright so instead of getting Korean or pho, we're getting Korean. Are you excited John? Yeah. Yeah. The line is long. Oh, the line's long. All right, I'm sad because the line was like super long. So now we're just gonna go pho again. So we didn't go to pho. Instead, we're going to Indian food. Yay! Go in, Dad. All right, we got some samosas. What's the meal for progressive glasses? Are you excited, John? We always try to order these, but they never have them. This is the first time. Okay, our food came. We got chicken biryani, lamb biryani. This is. Beef and this is chicken tikka masala. Can't pronounce that. I don't know what it is. What is it, John? Karahi ghost. Karahi ghost. And then garlic naan. Alright, you guys, I am back from dinner and it was delicious. It was so good. I ate so much. They had to roll me back home like a giant roly poly because I was just so full. The food was so good. But. I just wanted to do a quick handbag rehab with you guys first before we end the night. So um, this one is a quick little hack for um, suede and nubuck leather bags. Um, now this one is a vintage Fendi bag that I thrifted from the Goodwill. Um, how much did I get this guy for? I got this guy for $25 and he, such great condition. Um, the chain is really a sight to behold. I love this chain so much. It's so like substantial and weighty. It looks like jewelry and it's in a really great gun metal color. Um, you can see here that the, the suede has like a really cool geometric print on it. And you can see that right here, it's like a little darker than the rest of the bag. And you can clean this really easily just using your trusty white eraser. I know I've talked about this before. The white eraser is really a lifesaver and it does so, so many things. You can clean your regular leather bags with it. You can clean your suede, nubuck, and it is really, really an awesome thing. So. I am just going to use this to erase, kind of go like in a circular motion, like I kind of go just in all directions to make sure um, I get into the nap of the suede and really clean up. You can already see that it's done such a good job. And usually just like wipe it off like that. And you can see there's just a little bit left right there, but this it was like all the way down here before, and now it's pretty much all gone. So you gonna concentrate on this little corner. Let's see if we can get all of it out. If you remember, um, if you you guys have seen my handbag rehab on my Celine mini um, luggage bag in the tricolor, the wings of the bag are suede. And I tried so many things to clean it. I used a leather, like spray cleaner. Um, I used one of those like buffing brushes. Um, I used another suede cleaner. And, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. I'm like a, a 
coughing. Um, and the last thing I used was the eraser, and literally the eraser was the best thing. This is just a regular white eraser. Just make sure that it's a nice, soft one. I don't, um, I wouldn't use, like, the pink erasers, just because sometimes those transfer the color. Um, and, yeah, so... This just did wonders for the bag. Now look at that. It looks fantastic. And there's always going to be like a little bit of variation, but if you remember right there in that corner, even though I like moved the nap of the leather back and forth, it was still like really dark. But the rest of the bag is in fantastic condition. There's a little bit of darkening, I think, right here on this corner as well. And for, um, for suede, what I find, um, oh, you can see on here, like, it took out a lot of the dirt. Can you see, like, the shavings from the eraser? Now, though, when you use this eraser, eraser though, you do have to be careful because you don't want to ruin the nap of the suede. Um, but that's why I like the really, these really soft erasers because they don't, um, hurt the suede. But with, ex like, like anything else, with the increased like use of something like this, it is gonna have like an abrasive effect on the suede or leather or whatever you're using it on. So moderation is always key. Just like do a little bit at a time and just keep going. You don't want to overdo it, and you don't want to go too fast because when you go fast with the eraser, it's going to heat up that little section just because like the increased friction is gonna um, cause an increased heat, and then that's going to. Um, affect your leather as well. So you always just want to be careful with um, anything that you do to like treat or clean your bags. Um, you just don't want you just don't, you just want to be careful and extend the life of um, your leather goods. And now I think this is like looking amazing. And this is an amazing like this is a vintage piece like I said, um, and it's gorgeous still. I love it so much. And you can do this to any of your, pretty much any of your bags. The eraser trick works really well on pretty much every leather. Um, I just wouldn't use this on um, snakeskin uh, just because, like, the, the, uh, like, the, um, when you have snake, it lifts up on one side. So when you're erasing back and forth, you might accidentally lift the side that it, you could tear the leather essentially so again just be careful um just like with anything and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching today and hanging out with me i'm sorry today's vlog was a little short um what happened today was my mom's friend martha came over and they have been friends for ever and she is actually the mom of one of john's um classmates from Ele all, like all the way back in elementary school when he was like in third grade so I have known her for a considerable amount of time, and she is so awesome. We had so much fun. Um, and it's really funny because she actually found me on YouTube like a few years ago when, um, a look, when I made a video about how to make um, like journal notebooks. So it was so funny, and then she messaged me, and she's like, oh my gosh, are you, like, I know who you are. And I was like, oh my gosh, you do. And it was just the funniest thing, and now, like, she is just, like, so awesome. So um, maybe one day I'll have her in a video. I don't know. I'm a little shy to ask. So Martha, if you're watching, if you want to be in a video, just say yes. <laughs> but, um... I promise tomorrow um, we're going to have a lot more fun. The kids are going to be home from school. I don't know why they have like an off day tomorrow, but they're not going to be in school tomorrow, which is fun. John's going to be here, and I have a ton of stuff to do. I have a ton of stuff to get done. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hopefully I'll get a good night's rest tonight. Um, I have a lot of stuff to package. We're definitely going to head over to the Goodwill um, and hang out with the boys and... Uh, it's going to be fun. So, thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, oh, and if you guys have any questions about, like, handbag rehabs or anything, let me know down in the comments below. Um, and I can definitely answer them. I do want to do, like, a couple, like, Q&A segments for, like, maybe handbag rehabs or um, selling online. I know um, 
someone messaged me today about selling online and there it was gonna be for like a charity um i will message you back i'm so sorry i haven't messaged you back yet. i haven't had time to sit down and type anything out um but if you guys like are interested in that kind of stuff definitely let me know and i will um make a video or address it in a vlog or something or just send me an email and or a dm and we can converse through there so thank you guys again so much hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please give it a big thumbs up it helps immensely and don't forget to subscribe Hit the little bell for notifications and don't forget to tune in tomorrow and I'll see you guys there. Bye! Hey guys, we are gonna put the pizza into the oven. The pizza is the oven is now at or almost oh, it's only at 450. Instead of getting Korean, or uh, we're getting Korean. Are you excited, John? Yeah. Yeah. The line is long. Oh, the line's long. All right, I'm sad because the line was like super long. So now we're just gonna go up again. So we didn't go to Pho. Instead, we're going to Indian food. Yay! Go in, Dad.